Projectiles. Like them or hate them, they are an essential part of combat. And while it does feel amazing just shredding your opponents, getting annihilated isn't nearly as fun. So that's why you're watching Wemplar, and these are three ways to block projectiles. And yeah, I'm holding a spoon. It felt kind of awkward not holding anything, and I'm using my phone mic, so... Just start the video! Number 1. Flares. This is one of the classics. People built this as soon as the game came out, and even though they are not always optimal, in some scenarios they do work. If you play your cards right, you can even use them for offense. Just don't use the flare block, as I don't think you're gonna have much success with that. Now, this is how I construct flares. I of course start with attachable blocks, then followed by a wedge. I put on a tail fin for that aerodynamic instability. I add a sconce, and then of course I add the explosive. And that's the entire build! It's pretty simple, but it works like a charm. And of course you can paint it to give more of a flare look. Now I usually go for a yellow glow skin, and that usually looks pretty accurate. Now this sign is good, because you can copy it and it won't stick to itself, which definitely is handy when trying to save space. Number 2. Shields. Now this may seem basic, but just stay with me here, okay? Normal shields? They're okay, don't get me wrong, but they have a glaring weakness, the EMP. One hit with that bad boy and you're done for, but I've came up with a really simple solution to fix that. This system is simple, yet effective. As you can see, I have 4 shield generators and these shields inhabit the same space, now you can do it with other sizes, and but I like not having a difference between them. So. Here I have all of these shields and all of them are set to left shift on toggle and the green ones here are set to off by default. So what this will do is whenever I spawn in I'll have my red shields and then I can press left shift and swap to my other shields. So what this gives me is just a way to have two different sets of shields that I can deploy whenever I want. So if, for example my green shield gets hurt by an EMP I can swap to my red shield. And of course, in battle, I would paint these the same color, so it wouldn't be noticeable. And so, with the system installed, if your victim, <coughs> friend, EMPs you, you can just activate your second set of shields. And it's like nothing ever happened. Just make sure that your opponent doesn't have custom projectiles. Because not even shields can save you from that. Number 3. Detachable Armor. Could you argue that it's just oversized flares? Yeah, you could. But I won't like you very much after that. My newest line of defense against projectiles is the Detachable Armor, which launches to hit the bullet before the bullet hits you. The Detachable Armor can stop any projector basically, it doesn't matter if it's custom or if it's in the game, it will stop it. So is it practical? No, like don't do it, it's definitely not worth it. But it does look pretty cool. Thank you so much for watching this video, I really do appreciate it. I'm trying to reach 1000 subscribers before the summer ends, so if you want to help me reach that goal, I'd be really grateful. And someone else that I am really grateful to are the wonderful members of my Discord. Seriously guys, I could not make this without you. But it seems like we unfortunately did reach the end of the video. So for now, this has been Wemplar, and I'll see you again the next time. Peace out.